And welcome back to the Sunday Sports Extra. A lot of district high school football games took place on Friday, but there wasn't one for this team that's in studio right now. They had a well-deserved bye after starting the season 3-1. and one. Joining me now, Harden Jefferson head football coach David Martell and his entire team basically joins me in the studio. Thanks, Coach, for coming in. Welcome. How was the bye week? The bye week was awesome. Uh, you know, we didn't break any, anything that we were supposed to break uh, as far as bones and stuff, but uh, we practiced and we didn't come off the, the same normal practice that we normally have. We practiced Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, and we lifted Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and we conditioned real hard. So uh, we, we don't believe in a bye week. We just, you know, the kids have healed and we're ready to roll. Might be good to have that extra week, too, for, with West Orange Stark right around the corner. We'll get to them in a little bit. Your team, two years ago, won two games. Last year, one game. This year, you've won three and four games already. Mm -hmm. What's with the turnaround? Well, the turnaround is due to these kids. Uh, you know, not, not only these, but the ones at home. Uh, and the coaching staff that I have, uh, they respond to everything that you do. Uh, they're a great group of young men. Uh, they love each other. They don't complain. Uh, they don't moan. They don't groan. They just play together, and they play hard. Players, uh, you guys have seen the turnaround too. I know being upperclassmen, I believe, right? Mm -hmm. So, what do you think is the reason for this turnaround that you guys have seen? Well, just the players and just the attitude is way different than last year and the previous years. And there's no back talk. If a coach says what needs to be done, we get it done. It was just how you said it. We come together as more of a team this year, like, together and. Just no arguing, no attitude on the field, no starting fights, nothing like that, just playing the game of football. Now, all of your games so far this season have been extremely close, nail biters. Mm -hmm. You guys are, could probably be called the Cardiac Hawks this year. Mm -hmm. We already have been called the Cardiac Hawks. You have? Yeah. <laughs> so is that your new official nickname now? Well, I, I don't want to call it that, but there's people in the stands, uh, you know, one particular is my wife, uh, she always says, hey, you're another close one, you know, give me a heart attack one of these days, and I said, hey, you know, we'll take them any kind of way we can. Uh, and the whack, it was 22-3 to three in the fourth quarter, and we came back, and it's 22-19, uh, we're 3-1, and one, and one yard away from being 4-0. Oh. Uh, one of the things that I did, is because I believe in these young men, is, uh, you know, it's, it's two yards. Uh, I believe in you so much, I'm not going to tie the game, we're going to go for the win. And it just didn't work out for us, but, you know, they know that we believe in them. And, uh, and that's what it's about. Yeah, what message did you get when coach decided to go for it instead of tie the game and go into overtime against Santa Wack? <laughs> that they, they just believe in us, and we believe in them too, and then we just thought we could make it happen, and we will next time we get in that situation again. Now, pretend coach isn't here. Is that something you hold over his head for a while? If <laughs> no. Uh, no, no. <laughs> well, there was half of them saying, coach, let's kick it, and half of them saying, coach, let's go for it. And I said, you know what, we're going for it. We're not going to back down from anyone. We're going to show people what we're about. Now, I want to get to West Orange Stark this week. They're unbelievable defensive powerhouses, mm -hmm. as you know. They've given up 20 points in five games. Mm -hmm. How do you beat their defense? Well, you don't. You, uh, I mean, you try to, uh, but they're, they're a proven defense and always has been. And I have uh, a lot of respect for Coach Thompson and, and his st uh, staff over there in West Orange Stark. Uh, you know, what you have to do is, is you have to – uh, grind it out and grind it out and not make mistakes uh, because if you make a mistake it's going to happen just like that and it's going to turn around the game uh, very easily uh, you know uh, as far as outrunning them you're not going to outrun them uh, they're going to be stronger than you they're going to be more physical than you and what we've got to do is we've just got to continue to just move forward uh, you know try to keep our defense off the field and offensively just try to move the ball and where we do have a good play uh, or a positive play for us is you know anywhere from two to three yards uh, just to be able to keep the ball in our hands and, and not make mistakes. I'll leave you guys with this last question. Is there someone in the district that you look at as they're the team to beat or you have them circled on your calendar? Well, uh, we made a goal this year to win five ball games. We've won three, okay? So I, I do believe we're going to surpa surpass our goal. Um, in district, they got us picked last. We're, Hard Jefferson's always been the underdog. Uh, in my eyes, as far as a team to beat, we need to beat them all. Uh, to be successful, okay? Is that going to be a challenge for us? Yes, it is. It's going to be a challenge because every night, no matter who's in your district, it's going to be a dogfight. Everyone, thank you so much, Coach. Thank you so much thank for you. coming in. Appreciate it. Best of luck this week, too.